guys welcome in kk java tutorials in this video tutorial we will uh, learn about the uh, ms actual and uh, here we are going to explain uh, all the options available uh, within the file tab so we will see each and every option right so let me close this ms excel and i'm going to open it again right so let's type here actual and here is the actual and when you open ms excel then that looks like this yeah so here we have a various option uh, so if you would like to uh, open a blank workbook then you will have to click over here then here you can see blank uh, workbook is open now if you click on file then we have a various option right so by default it selects home home you can see uh, all the templates are available here and what are the recent file i have used if i have some pinned file then pinned file here you can uh, you can pin any any other file if you click over here you will get the option to pin and pin file will be displayed over here so that accessibility will be easier whenever you come then within the pin section then you'll get your file right so these are the functionality is available on the home now new when you click on the new then again you have a various options either you can select the any template you can search new template or again you can uh, basically uh, open a new uh, new uh, workbook so basically this option we use uh, this option to open uh, the new actual file uh, we can open new file using shortcut key control uh, in as well so here uh, if you press control n then new workbook will, will be open uh, for same functionality we have a shortcut as well again next if we talk about the next uh, option we have a open right so we use this option to open the existing file and we have a shortcut control o if you press control o then you come over here so here uh, if you try to open your existing file if you have uh, used some recent file then those file you'll you'll, you'll see, see in this list else you can uh, uh, else you can uh, 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 bring your file from the one drive if you have saved one drive you can browse from the specific location if you so here if you click on the browse then uh, you can browse from your computer uh, if you would like to add any uh, place right where you'd like to uh, save your file you, you can do that as well right so that's all about the open now next option we have info right so info this option basically uh, we can get the information about the particular actual file created date last modified date uh, author name properties extra uh, uh, atc right so that's all about the info if you go inside the info apart from that here you have a uh, basically you can protect your basically uh, workbook by setting uh, 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 by using the encryption by setting the password etc right now let's talk about the next next option we have a save let's say i have a file right and i do some work and i would like to save it so i'll go to the file and click on the uh, save else directly you can uh, do the shortcut control s and this will give you a uh, option to save right so i'm just choosing the location as desktop giving the file name as test yeah and saving on the desktop right so that's all about the save now next option uh, we'll talk about the save as right so save as which usually we use this option to make another copy or save the file at another location right f12 is the shortcut to save uh, as the file right so here let's say i go to here i do some modification right uh, kk java tutorials right and i would like to save this changed stuff not in the same file but another file so what you'll do uh, either you can go in the file and click on save as or you can do a uh, shortcut uh, function f12 or f12 uh, in some computer so this uh, option will come and let's say i'm giving name as test new right and i'm closing this uh, file and if i go to the desktop then i have a two file one test test you can see uh latter change was not applied but in uh, this new you'll see ladder change was applied so here you can see kk java tutorials right so that's the difference between save and save as now when we talk about the next option then we have a print right so we can use this option to print the document file uh, we have a control plus p uh, is the shortcut uh, key to print right once you press control p or 
if you click on the print then uh, will you'll get the page setup right option so here you can set up your page as per your requirement or need right so that's all, all about the uh, print now let's move to the next option that is share we use this option to share the file with multiple users uh, and send it over email so that's all about this option now uh, we have a export right we use this option to export file in pdf or xpf uh, uh, document and uh, we can uh, change the file uh, type as well so let's say i want to uh, export this file in the pdf format so i'll create create export and i'll get this option here you have an option to choose either xpf or uh, pdf so xps xpf uh, sorry xpf document is nothing but that's a pdf equivalence to windows so usually people uh, export in the usually pdf because pdf work for the all the operating system but xps X, xps document only work for the windows so i'm just going to uh, export in the uh, basically pdf format so let's say i give the name of its test underscore new to and i i'm going to publish on the desktop itself click over here so if i go to the desktop then here you see that file has been exported where is that guy i don't know where that file has gone so let's say export once more so i'll do file export and i would like to export in the pdf format so let's say i go to the e drive and uh, e drive then let's say let's say let's say i'll create a new file and within the new file i'll save with this name so i go to the e drive and new folder and here you can see the pdf file so easily you can export right here you can see the extension as pdf right so from excel easily you can uh, get the uh, pdf or xpf right whichever you want to get now next is the publish so publish using the publish you can publish your document on the power uh, bi or uh, you can uh, publish it on onedrive if you have an account on you know, onedrive then. then finally we have uh, option is called close we use this option to close the uh, file uh, we have a control plus w uh, shortcut for the scene so here is the file and if i place control plus uh, w right Con if you press control plus w this is gonna close and again if you want to open the new then uh, control plus n and you'll open the new access sheet right now let's talk about the next option next option we have account right so account this uh, usually we use this option to sign sign in into our ms office account and we can uh, change office theme as well yeah now feedback from here you can send the feedback if you get some error or some uh, kind of uh, improvement if you want you can send uh, feedback from here now finally uh, we have an option so this is really important if you want to do kind uh, if you want to do kind of uh, some kind of ch uh, setting change then uh, it was uh, basically it was in the tool menu of the previous version of uh, 2007 uh, ms office right uh, we use this option to add extra and advanced features like uh, developer tab uh, power pivot analysis uh, uh, tool pack and many more right also we can change uh, default settings like uh, font size font style number of seats etc right uh, uh, in in actual uh, sorry in actual options right uh, we have 11 categories if you count from here general to uh, trust center you have 11 categories and here by looking into itself you can see you can change the font uh, default uh, font size right uh, even the default uh, font uh, style various thing you can change right after uh, changing like font default font you will have to click on ok if you go to the formula then here formula related stuff you can change then proofing saving stuff you can change over here what would be the default location and all language you can change there are many more things right so here uh, you can uh, uh, do some changes about the ribbons as well uh, then 
if you want to add some functionality like quick access toolbar let's say quick access toolbar there is only three options right here you can see there is only three save undo and redo let's say i would like to add one cut option so cut option will be available here so whatever option you want to add in the quick access then you have to select and click on add then click on open once i'll do then here you can see cut option is now available so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial i have almost covered all the options available in the file menu i hope you enjoy learning this video if you have any queries or any questions then please uh, post to the uh, below to the uh, post your queries below to the uh, video yourself i will try to answer you guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial